In this video, I would like to talk about the origins of Kubernetes. Uh, and that is because knowing where Kubernetes is coming from really is a part of the explanation of its success. So where does it come from? Well, simple, from Google. Uh, Google has had an internal system uh, with the name Google Borg, and that is the Google system that has been used for over a decade uh, to orchestrate the Google container-based applications. And then we are talking about all the applications that Google is uh, offering uh, in their worldwide cloud environment to make sure that we can use the Google search engine and Google Docs and Google Maps and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so you can uh, you can actually say that that's based on a pretty uh, pretty big uh, environment where scalability and availability uh, always have been a top priority. So in 2014, Google has published this document, and you can find the link right here, uh, which has been the blueprint for the Kubernetes uh, project. Uh, Borg not only was the origins of Kubernetes, it also was the origins of pretty important Linux features uh, that are used in containers nowadays. Uh, think of namespaces, uh, think of cgroups, which both were proposed by Google as an addition uh, to Linux. And it shouldn't be a surprise that Google internally was uh, running their applications on top of Linux as well as the orchestration platform. So Google has donated the Borg uh, specification to the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. We already talked about that, and that was a pretty smart idea, because by donating the Borg specification to CNCF, uh, it is guaranteed that this specification uh, will be available as open source software forever. So why is this open source so successful? Well, just imagine all the investment in time and money that needs to be made for a company to, to produce something that is similar uh, to Kubernetes. Uh, instead of uh, investing all that time and money, companies can now work together on a common code base uh, and focus on the additional value that the company wants to provide on top of that. And that's why Kubernetes is the worldwide standard for, uh, for container orchestration. In the next video, before we can go further in depth, uh, we are going to have a look at uh, Google Cloud. Uh, that is Kubernetes in a Google Cloud environment so that you can already have your Kubernetes sneak peek.